Now that we have allowed users to subscribe to our mailing list, we're going to work on the ability to send a message with a subject and a body. So what we're going to do is inside of send.php, we're already requiring it and everything we need. Uh, we've got a form here, which again is fairly straightforward. It just sends a HTTP request to send.php. We can pick up everything we need, like the subject and the body here, uh, fairly straightforward. You can go ahead and implement this however you want. So what we now need to do is do a quick check for the subject and the body and make sure they're set. So subject and body. And inside of here, we can then just store them locally so we can quickly access them. Now, when we send an email to lots of people, this doesn't mean we have to do it in a loop. We're not going to loop through everyone that subscribed. What we're going to do is we're just going to call the send message method that we've already seen in the subscribe and confirm pages. Because what we now do is we send the email to the mailgun list address. So if we look under here, as long as we send an email to this address, so news at and then my sandbox address, this will send the email that we provide to all of the recipients. So again, this could be hundreds of thousands. So we're going to say mailgun send message. We're going to provide the domain as we've done every time. And we're also then going to provide our array that we've done before. So from again is no reply at phpacademy.org to this time, instead of doing it to an email address, it's to mailgun list which we stored as a constant here, which we've just spoken about. And what we then want to do is provide a subject. In this case, it's going to be the subject that we provide through the form that's posted back through to this page. And then we have a body, uh, sorry, a body, which is HTML or text. In my case, it's just going to be um, body. Now, one important thing that we really need to make sure that we include, and this really has to be included, is the unsubscribe link. Now, just quickly popping over to the uh, documentation for Mailgun, we get these things called template variables. Now, we're going to look at these in a minute when we send out email, but you can see that we've got things that we can actually provide in the body of the message. So we can type these in... If we just get rid of this, we can type these into here and that will pick up for each user that this is sent to their first name, their last name, etc. But what we need is we need our um, unsubscribe URL. So we can copy this and include this in every message that we send. So I'm just going to actually if we just put some double quotes here and put the body in here, do a couple of line breaks and then paste in the unsubscribe URL. And we can put this inside of an anchor to make it easier for the user to click on. Let's just escape that and escape that. Unsubscribe. So that allows the user to easily unsubscribe from our mailing list, which we saw in the introduction video. So let's now take a look at actually sending an email. So we'll forward ourselves back to the current folder and let's test this out. So I'm going to type in uh, big news or something. This is big news. So this is sending a basic email. We hit send that sends it to the list. And if we check our email, we can see that that has been sent to us. There we are. We've also got the unsubscribe link, which we'll look at in just a moment. I'm not going to unsubscribe myself uh, because I'll have to resubscribe. So inside of the user manual, let's try and uh, create a body where we maybe address the user by their first name. So in this case, it's really easy for us to say something like, if we click on send.php, uh, let's just say uh, more big news. So we're going to say hello, recipient first name. Uh, this is really big news. 
So we can use any of these um, template variables in our message. So if I hit send now, and we check our email, you can see that that has addressed me by my first name. And this means that not everyone's going to obviously be dressed as Alex. This will address the user personally. It just makes it so easy to personalize bulk emails or mass emails. So let's now take a look at unsubscribe. You can see if you look at the bottom of my browser, this goes through to a mailgun email, uh, a mailgun domain. And when we hit this, this will allow us to unsubscribe from this particular mailing list. Uh, in reality, this wouldn't say sandbox because we wouldn't use this in production. It would say something like your domain. So if I hit unsubscribe, it now says it's official, you have unsubscribed. So we can see the users that have unsubscribed here and if we scroll down, it shows that the uh, email address alex at phpacademy.org has unsubscribed. We can remove them, but it's probably not a good idea if the user has chosen to unsubscribe here. So that is basically it. Um, we can also enable the unsubscribed link in the footer if we don't want to automatically put this into our uh, code. And you can also edit the template for this as well. So you don't actually have to include uh, this unsubscribe URL. But probably if you want to make this part of your email and make it look nice, uh, you may want to do so. So that is pretty much how we send mass email or create a mailing list with PHP using Mailgun. You can see how straightforward it is. And obviously this is a really scalable solution rather than doing it all on your server. Uh, you can actually see here that the maximum list size is two and a half million. So that's how we create a mailing list with PHP.